Hello, today I'm going to be adding RAM to this Acer Aspire 5 A15 52 70 dB. This currently has 8 gigs of RAM. It's got a good uh, i7, 8th generation i7 CPU with 4 cores and 8 threads. This is a good computer. It's got two SSDs in it. The owner of this computer just needs more RAM. They do a lot with, I think, 3D graphics. So I'm going to shut down. It's got Windows 11 on it. I'm going to shut down and add a memory module. I'm hoping that there's a single 8 gig module in there so we can add 16. We've got a 16 gigabyte crucial. This is a 3200 megahertz module. I think this computer only supports 2600 megahertz. I can't remember. But this module should work. Okay, it's off. This is where it would be great to have my electric screwdriver. Okay, I got the corner to pop here by just lifting under the hinge. <laughs> just keep slipping out. Just gonna make sure there's no screw under here because this was lifted a little bit. This rubber was lifted a little bit, so I thought maybe there was a screw under there, but no, it's just the design. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Okay, well that was easier than I expected it to be. Nice. Wow, look at this. That's a big battery. I think I installed this Crucial MX500, and then it's got an M2 drive, a Western Digital M2 SSD. So it does have two memory slots that are occupied, so there's going to be a pair of four gigabyte modules. These are Kingston 2666, as that one is. Let's make sure this is matching. Yeah. So this should be slot A. In that slot B. So I'm going to put the the faster module in slot A. I don't. It won't make a difference. They'll both run at the same speed. So it'll downgrade to 2666 megahertz. I think this computer only supports. I can't remember actually. Okay, I'm going to put these two screws back in to start with so that the hinge is properly supported. Hinges. So it took the computer an extra few seconds to, to train the memory to get going, but uh, no BIOS warnings or anything. So I would expect that we'll see 20 gigabytes of RAM once we're in. And there we go. We've got 20 gigabytes of RAM. Is that easy? Thanks for watching.